Yeah, so we got O2 at the end of the season, basically, and we had only one event left. And so I actually got the ski maybe four days before the event. That was the event down in Miami. My fourth or fifth set on the ski at most was in a pro event. All the tests you do in practice is great. You can't not test in practice, but I think you really see what happens is when you push it under pressure. Well, that's when you realize, well, what you've been testing goes or not, because sometimes in practice, it'll go well, you'll go to the tournament, you're like, oh, now I'm pushing on the ski differently. My body's not as loose as it normally is, and the ski's reacting differently because you're giving it different input. And that's fine, that's tournament, that's normal, that's good. Because uh, you could get better performance out of it. You're more amped up. Now the problem is, is the design supporting that? Are, are, are the boots and the fins supporting that? And so Miami went well because on the first round I ran 39, first tournament round on the ski. From the start, it was easy to ski well on it. And I think the big reason it was easy to ski well on it is because it did two things. It was stable and it turned. Fundamentally, it's a much wider forebody. So I automatically gives it a different feel in the water. Personally, when I ride the Warp Zero Two, it's very stable. And I have to say though, Zero One isn't, but the Zero Two is like hard to fall off of. I love that feature about the ski. So the ski was very stable and turned. And I think because it did those two things, I was able to run 39, which for me to run 39, the things have to fall into places, you know? Like design has to be good. You know, I can't band-aid anything there anymore. It's too difficult. So the ski went well, and then that, that was the end of the season. So in a way, it was like, well, now we got the winter to, to work on it. So over winter, tried mainly to, to work on how to set up this thing. We've never skied on a ski, especially me, that's got this much platform. And what I've realized, actually, over this whole testing period, is it's got a huge range of setups that work. That ski, I've ridden it both ways and I've gotten similar scores with both setups. I feel confident that if somebody gets the ski, they can ride it set up the way they would like to. The boots forward long and shallow or the boots back short and deep. And so that was over winter. And so then I feel like I came into this season with a better understanding of, hey, this is where I like to ride the ski myself, okay? So then I went to the events. The first event on the Pro Tour this year was the Swiss Pro, here at home actually. And um, I ran 39 again in the first round. I made it to the finals, eight at the Swiss Pro. So that was a step forward from the Miami tournament. I made it to the final, I ran my 39 again. My stuff was better set up. But again, it was only the first tournament. So from there, it was really every weekend trying to refine the setup and understand where to stand on the ski even better. I went to the next pro event, Lake 38, which is the last event on the pro tour I've done, uh, and was able to run 39, three out of three rounds. So consistency went up, which is huge. Um, and I scored a fifth spot finish. So if I really look at the trend, I've skied well at my first tournament on the ski, and I've skied better every single weekend on it, and I've moved up in the rankings at the tournament. There's other skis on the market that have are kind of more high down for skis. And once you get a taste of that, it's hard to let go of. You like the grip, you like the drive, you like the stability, you like the engagement at the finish of the turn. And that Work Zero Two has all that. And it has in a very refined package where it's not overly tiring, it's not too aggressive, it's not stopping or biting. It takes all the knowledge we've learned and has that style of ski without the negatives of that style of ski. So that's really one of the goals I would say behind uh, the works too is just the ability to be stable anywhere on the ski and at the same time turn. Because a lot of the time, if the ski is very stable, maybe it won't turn. But in this case, stability with aggression around the balls. That was the goal that we're hoping people can achieve.